Hi, I hope you're having a great day today. In this video, I'm going to show you how to combine paths together. And I'm going to show you two ways to do that. Depending upon your situation, you might pick one option over the other. So let's get started. I'm going to first draw the base of this arrow. And I will not be using any rulers as such, but when you are designing stuff, you probably will want to use some sort of guides or grids so that your measurements are accurate. But I will try to be a little bit accurate. So as you see, these two nodes are not aligned together. So I'll double click on this line so that the uh, the paths tool is active. I'll select the two, two nodes. I'll select object, align and distribute and give them the same horizontal level. So that kind of keeps that makes them at the same horizontal level, but they're not exactly uh, equidistant from the end nodes, as you can see. But that's something that can be fixed using guides. So let's let's get started uh, with the second half of this, which is I want to draw the head of the arrow now, right? So so if I were to select the Bezier tool and you know just try to draw it like this by hoping that you know I've got it right and that the nodes actually connect with each other I can get quite close right it's pretty close it's not that bad they are connected they seem connected uh, because they overlap but they truly aren't so if I move this away I can actually move it as an independent entity which I don't want so there are two ways to join these parts together so let me just move it a little bit up and show you what exactly happens. So if I were to double click on any of these nodes, I'd see that the uh, edit path tool gets active. And now if I shift and click on the other, on the second path, both the paths are active. So I've selected both the paths. But what I want to do is I want to combine these two nodes. So I'm going to click and drag and select these two nodes and then from the top over here I'll select the option which says join selected nodes and that kind of combines these nodes together and I'll do the same thing here I'll select these two nodes and I'll combine these nodes together and that gives me a nice little arrow and I can give it I can actually give it a fill now because it's a closed shape so if I can give it a fill that'll be great so that's one way and that actually took a lot more steps than than what is necessary if you want to draw something as simple as this. So let's take the second approach and that is let's draw the base again and try to be as close as I can. All right. So I have I have my first line segment, the first path ready. But now what I'm going to do is I'm going to with the I'm going to select this node and with the path tool active I'm going to select the Bezier curve tool again. So this time when I do a selection, you I see that there are a couple of small rectangles on the path, and if I hover on top of them, the uh, the rectangle the squares sorry the squares turn red. So if I were to click on that square and then click elsewhere and then click, click and click. What actually happened was the the line segment or the path was continued from the place where it left off. So you might remember from the previous, previous uh, object that we made, it had you know a different shape here and that was because there were two nodes but now if I double click on this guy and I see that there is only one node that's because it combined nodes together because we started from that tiny little red square which appeared so the thing to remember is if you wanna continue an existing path select using the path nodes the path tool so that the you can see the nodes and then continue on the path by using the Bezier path tool. Cool, that's it. 
Thanks for watching.